Greetings. Lots of people ask me to do a, uh, a video on acid flux because acid flux is very prevalent in Grenada and in North America the biggest seller is Pepto Bismol. See? Because a lot of people eat so bad that they end up having a lot of gases and acids. <clears throat> so we're going to talk about that today. Yeah? How do we diagnose acid flux? Tongue diagnosis in our medicine. If we see you have a coating on the tongue, we know that a lot of acid is in your stomach. If you also have a cut in the middle of the tongue, we know for a fact that your liver is messed up. It's not working well. When you are suffering from acid reflux, you have to follow a few principles. First, do not eat and drink at the same time. Second principle, do not eat and look at television. Third principle, do not eat and go lay down and sleep. Fourth principle, do not eat when you're rushing. And the last principle is do not eat when you're angry. Those are the five principles you have to follow once you are suffering from acid flux. See? Acid flux fall under the category of what we call hypochlorhydria. Too much acid in the, in the, in the stomach walls. <clears throat> under 50. If you're over 50, it's hypochlorhydria. See? <clears throat> so we have to know what it is. <clears throat> now, how do we go about fixing acid flux? Not with tablets. Because tablets don't, can fix it. Because once you have trouble in your stomach, tablets don't work. Because your stomach has to turn the tablet into liquid. And if, it can, if, it, if your stomach is not working well, and don't have what we call digestive fire, you can never turn a tablet into a liquid. So common sense will tell you that once you have acid flux, you have to soothe the stomach or the digestive, the digestive system with herbs, liquids. So let's go to the, to the herbal kingdom. <clears throat> in herbal medicine, we have herbs that fall in different categories. Cooling, cooling, cool herbs, warm herbs, damp herbs, hot herbs, dry herbs. Yeah? But when you have acid flux, we use the cooling bitters and the warming bitters. Cooling bitters drop, warming bitters brings up. Don't forget that. First herb we use. Orange peel. Orange peel is a cooling bitter. And orange peel have a lots, lots of anti-tumor activity. It shrinks tumors. Scientifically researched. But it drops the acid in the stomach if the acid is high. Or if, if you have what we call hyperchlorhydria. See? But orange peel will just drop. So in order for us to create dopa, we have to mix the orange peel with what? Turmeric, this herb here, because turmeric is a warming bitter, and turmeric brings back up the acid. Turmeric also helps to, to drop your LDL cholesterol, bad cholesterol. It also helps to prevent oxidative damage of the liver. It also acts as an amenagogue, meaning it's what between your liver and your gallbladder. And, and turmeric is also important for high blood pressure, and it, it prevents oxidative damage to your liver. But it helps to normalize the acid in your stomach once the orange peel drops it to a certain level. We call it dopa. That's the second herb. The third herb. If you have acid flux and you have an ulcer because acid do cause ulcers in the stomach. Because it burns things up. We use a herb called marshmallow which is a demulsion plant. What does the mulchen plant do? They soothe things. They soothe the walls. They soothe the ulcers in the stomach. See? If they're there. But also help the stomach to work well. <clears throat> if there is an ulcer, or if there is holes in the intestines, or you're suffering from leaky gut because of bad habit of eating your foods, we go to CMOS. CMOS is so significant it helps to not only plug the holes in your intestines to prevent the food from leaking out to, to fix leaky gut but it is full of potassium iodine it is full of minerals and trace elements but it also keeps the stomach wall soothing because it acts as a demulsion plant because of the mucinous content of this herb so once you have acid reflux, 
you must use sea moss. You must use marshmallow. You must use orange peel. You must use turmeric. If you have acid reflux and you are you need to increase your digestive juices because lots of people eat and drink at the same time and they lose or they, 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 they wash away the digestive juices we go to a wonderful herb called what? look right here gentian gentian is a digestive bitter and it is found in a lot of these bitter things, or, or things that are from the level of the market but it's good for diabetes but if you have troubles in the stomach and you want to increase your digestive juices, we give you gentian. If you're taking chemotherapy and you lose your appetite, we give you gentian. Because gentian works between the stomach and the pancreas. And your pancreas is part of your digestive system because it produces digestive enzymes. Don't forget that. So if there is a need to increase your digestive juices, we give you gentian there. If you have acid flux and you have nauseated feeling, we go to what? Ginger. Because ginger prevents nauseated feeling, but too much ginger will give you nauseated feeling. And all meat eaters should put ginger in their meat because ginger detoxifies the ammonia in your meat. But ginger will stop the, the, uh, 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 the nauseated feeling if it's there. Right? And it's dealing with circulation. If you have acid flux, and you have nervous tension in the stomach because your stomach has nerves now. You use what? We go to the nervines. And the nervines are what? This one right here. It's called Horton Berries. And the reason why I use Horton Berries in the mix is because it's a, it's a herb for the heart. It, it helps to strengthen the heart contraction. It also drops your pressure. Also drops the, the, the heartbeat if it's, if it's high or low. But if there is nervous tension in the stomach, we use Horton leaves and flour. See? And if you have the acid coming back up in the esophagus and burning your heart, we call it heartburn, that's where you use your Horton berries. You see what I'm saying? It's, a, it's what we call a formula to help you to fix your acid flux. If you have acid flux and you have a virus in the intestinal tract, or if you have a bacteria, the pylori bacteria in your intestinal tract or in the stomach, what do we go to? What herb do you go to? We go to the anti antibacterial plants. We go to the antiviral plants. There we go. Cinnamon. Spice. Spice have both antibacterial and antiviral activity. Especially if you have a viral infection in your intestines. But if you have the pylori bacteria in your stomach, we need to kill the bacteria because the bacteria cause you, the patient, to get stomach cancer long term. No doctors could doubt that. So we use antibacterial plant or we could use some garlic in the tincture form, 80 drops of the garlic tincture in the tea to kill the pylori bacteria or some golden seed. See? If you have acid flux and you want to calm the stomach walls, there are herbs you call caminatives, peppermint, spearmint, Chamomile, they were communities. But there's an herb here called red raspberry leaves that we use to tonify a woman's uterus. It is from the Lamasi family, but it helps, it acts as what we call an alternative herb to the stomach. So it calms the stomach walls and it don't make you sweat as the peppermint does. See? Red raspberry leaves. If you have acid flux and it start affecting your liver we go to the sour plants or the sour fruits look at right here tambourine you won't say i made a mistake that i did on my video yes tambourine is is the fruit and i said cauliflower but it's broccoli i know the difference all right so right this is tambourine if there is a problem in the liver because of acid flux we use tambourine in the tea see and what we do is if you have no troubles with acid flux and it is causing troubles in your intestines because you have gases building up once you have gases in your intestines and you create a a 
a foundation for bad bacteria, the bad bacteria in your intestines start to evaporate and they start to invade your mucous membranes in your intestines. But your body has a wisdom. So the mucous membranes start producing excessive amount of mucus to prevent the bad bacteria from invading the mucous membranes. That's good. But you end up with what we call mucus colitis. You see, it's cold in your stool. Because you have too much bacteria, bad guys, in your stomach or in your, in your not intestines. Guess what we use? You got a few caps of hair? We call it acidophilus or probiotics. And they put back the trillions of good bacteria you have in your digestive system or in your GI tract to prevent the bad bacteria from what? Invading your mucous membranes. That's the key. And that's the reason why I'm trying to teach my people how to eat the foods, how to combine them so that you don't have a traffic jam in your stomach and cause fermentation, which cause putrefaction, which cause bad bacteria in your intestinal tract and cause a traffic jam and cause your food to come back or acid to come back in your stomach and cause you to have acid flux. So once you're taking these herbs together, you must, must, and I'm going to emphasize on must, change your lifestyle. You must not eat starches with your proteins. You must eat your starches with your vegetables or your proteins with your vegetables and don't eat and drink at the same time and then you will see over time, six weeks, you will see the bitterness in your, in your mouth disappears, the heartburn disappears, the GI tract problem disappears, the leaky gut disappears, the acid flux normalizes. You understand? Because now you change your lifestyle and that's the key in fixing any disease because all diseases starts in the digestive system. No doctor could doubt that. You understand? And the, and the stomach is the earth and the liver is the wood and wood come from the earth. Your kidney is water. Water come from the earth. Your heart is fire. Fire come from the earth volcanoes. Your lungs is metal. Metal come from the earth. And your small and large intestines is the earth. So everything starts in the GI tract. So if you don't take care of the GI tract, you're going to get acid flux. So now we taught you how to fix it by using the herbs together. You understand? And then you will see that you can fix your troubles by what? Changing your lifestyle and the bad eating habits that you have. And when you do that, you will see a big difference in how you feel. Have a blessed day. And give always give the Most High, Jehovah, the praise and the glory. Because he, at the end of the day, is the ultimate healer. Blessed love to everyone. All right.